Hi, I'm Alejandro Alba, and this is Daily News Tech, where each week we give you the rundown in the latest news in tech. Every day's a good day when you're painting, right? Hi, I'm Bob Ross, and for the next 13 weeks, I'll be your host as we experience the joy of painting. Twitch is launching a new creative category to celebrate the birthday of Bob Ross. As part of the celebration, Twitch will broadcast all 403 episodes of his PBS show, The Joy of Painting, from October 29th to November 6th. The new creative category, sponsored by Adobe, will also host Twitch users who stream themselves painting, drawing, and creating other visual art. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a wet canvas waiting for me, ready to get painted by trees and clouds. Russia will try to reenact one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind in 2029 when it attempts to launch a manned mission to the moon. The head of the Russian space agency, Roscosmos Energia, announced Tuesday that a manned flight to the moon and lunar landing is planned for 2029. Roscosmos would first have to dock its spacecraft on the International Space Station in 2023, then continue to land a rover on the moon by 2025. The Wii's Mies are coming to your smartphone. Nintendo finally announced its first mobile game app, and it's called Mitomo. Mitomo will launch March 2016, and it will be a free-to-play game where users can customize Mii avatars and interact with other Mies. Further details on gameplay have not been disclosed, but it's certain that the game will rely heavily on social interaction. Nintendo did not reveal any other details on the four other games it's trying to release by March 2017, but users will most likely have to pay for those titles. After many delays, the future of TV is finally here. Apple is now taking orders for the Apple TV, which is expected to start shipping on October 30th. New model will cost $149 for 32GB of storage and $199 for 64GB. The fourth generation Apple TV will have Siri control, gaming, and universal search. Jailbreaking your smart TV, your tablet, and even your car is now legal. The Library of Congress issued a set of new exemptions on the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, which will allow people to jailbreak any tablet or smart TV. Anyone can now modify these devices by installing third-party software. Jailbreaking smartphones was already legal. Now the only devices that can't be modified are gaming consoles, desktop computers, and laptops. That's all the news we have for today, so make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can watch other tech videos and reviews. And follow us on Twitter at MrAlexAlba and at NYDN Tech. Thanks for watching. See you next time. One more thing, make sure to download our daily news mobile app to get the latest articles in breaking news, entertainment, sports, and video. The app is available on both iOS and Android devices.